Hello everyone, it's that college football guy here with another video. I'm going to apologize for yesterday about not posting one up, but I had to prove to my work, first off, what's happening at home. I never caught COVID. My wife never caught COVID. My son is feeling a lot better, is walking around, but he's still showing up. So he has to get a doctor's notification for two certified doctor's tests that he's cleared from COVID. The home tests don't work anymore. They want two certified doctor's tests. Once he gets two of those clean, right now he has only pop clean on one. So we have to wait till tomorrow to see what happens. Or they may want to wait another day. I don't know how it's going to be done, but I'll find out about that later on. So that's what happened. Yeah, I'm here right now in between loads right here at a little drop yard here in Jacksonville, Florida. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. Like I said, real quick. I got on there, got started late, had to drive all my stuff, got a late start, had to drive down from where I'm at in Tennessee to Decatur, Alabama to pick up a load to take care to Jacksonville, Florida, which I delivered this morning, and I've been sitting here waiting on another load because right now it's a little bit slow. So that's what's going on. Now, as for the video, we had a lot of conversations going about about which was the best group of five conference. We had this conversation. Like I said the Sun Belt, the Mountain West, the America. We had all of them. So I thought about something. Why don't we just try to settle the argument? So I did a little bit of, since I had some time here, why don't we see who the best, where is it at here? Yes, paper, I'm old school. Who is the best group of five? Well, how do you do that? Well, I went from 2017 to 2021, the last five college football seasons. The overall records of the conference, the bowl records for the conference, how many winning seasons you had. And we're going to go on a tie break on that. And I'm going like, how am I going to, basically it was, is that I assigned a point value. If you're number one in winning percentage, you got a one. If you were worst, you got a five out of one through five. You add up the points, whoever had the most. And we'll get into something interesting about that. The winning seasons one, it was kind of a no brainer here because it, it ended up being a tie a lot here. So I'm going to get into this. But in the event, we had a tie break. We had to do a tie break on this, and I'll get into this. But right now, let's go into the conferences. In alphabetical order, the American. Well, it was up here a little bit better. Yeah. 78 and 71 in, 20, in 2017. They were 78 and 71 overall, 4 and 3 in bowl games. 2018, they were 76 and 77. One game under. 2 and 5 in bowl games. 2019, they were 87 and 66. Four and three in bowl games. 2020 season was a couple things happened. You know, obviously the COVID year. But also UConn left the American completely, took all of their Olympic sports into the Big East, and then made their football team independent. So there's going to be less games played plus COVID. So that hurt them double. But they were 2020, they were 53 and 52 overall, one and five in bowl game. 2021, they rebounded to go 73 and 65, three and one in bowls. It's an overall record of 367 wins, 331 losses, a winning percentage of 52.6%. They were 14 and 17 in bowl games, a winning percentage of 45.1%. Four winning seasons. Next up, Conference USA. Conference USA went downhill. That's all I got to say on this. First season, 85 and 81 in overall, 4 and 5 in bowl games. Next season, 83 and 93, 4 and 2 in overall, 4 and 2 in bowl games. 2019, 84 and 94 overall, 3 and 5 in bowl games. 2020, the COVID year, 49 and 58 overall, 0 and 6 in bowl games. 2021, 84 and 94 overall, 3 and 5 in bowl games. The exact same record they had in 2019. So that makes them 385 and 400, 385 wins, 420 losses, a winning percentage of 47.8%. They were 14 and 23 in bowl games, a winning percentage of 37.8%. And if you read, only one winning season. Let's go to the MAC, the Mid American Conference. They were 71 and 80 in 2017 with a 1 and 4 bowl record. They were 68 and 84 in 2018. That was a 1 and 5 bowl record. 2019, they were 70 and 83, a three and four bowl record, getting better. COVID year, the best year of the Mid American because they only played each other. 34 and 32, I should take that back. They played, started playing, started the season against uh, Power Five teams to get those cupcake games to get the body bag money, but they had to cancel the season. It was, I'm going to get down, the, I have my notations here. I apologize, everybody. It was season was postponed August 8th, and then oh, after some, uh, August 8th, the Bunny Boy games, they restarted it after um, 
was postponed and restored to November 4th. So they would, the body bag games didn't even happen. It's just against each other. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. It's dry here right now. I'm in Jacksonville, Florida, and it's dry. 49 and 58 overall, 0 and 16 conference. And yes, I told you I passed COVID tests. I'm not, I'm, I'm having, I should tell I'm the wrong year overall. I'm screwing up. We're talking about 34 and 32 for the Mac in 2020. 2 and 0 in bowl games. Winning record in both. 2021, 72 and 81, 3 and 5 in conference. So that means their overall record is 316 wins, 360 losses, with a winning percentage of 46.7%. Their bowl record is 10 and 18, a bowl winning percentage of 35.7%, with only one winning year, the COVID year, ironically. Then we get to the Mountain West Conference. 2017, they were. Let me make sure I get this right here because I wrote this part of it when I was driving. Yep. I'm right. 73 and 71, 3 and 3 in bowl games. 2018, 78 and 74, 3 and 2 in bowl games. 2019, 84 and 70, 4 and 3 in bowl games. COVID year, 40 and 42, 2 and 1 in bowl games. 2021, 84 and 69, best year, 5 and 1 in bowl games. So they have an overall record of 359 wins to 326 losses, a winning percentage of 52.4%, bowl record of 17 and 10, winning percentage of 63% in bowl games and four winning seasons. And last but not least, the Sun Belt. They started off worst off the jump. Worst season, 65 and 82 in 2017. I'll get into this. Four and one in bowl games. Next year, they went 65 and 61, 3 and 2 in bowl games. Like, wait a minute, what happened to all the games? The two worst teams in the conference, Idaho and New Mexico State, remember them? They got kicked out of the conference. They both went independent. Mexico State is independent, and, FCS, and Idaho eventually decided to go FCS. So that's the reason for that, folks. So they got rid of some of the dead weight, and all of a sudden the conference got better. 65 and 61 overall, 3 and 2 in conference in 2018. 2019, 66 and 61, 3 and 2 in conference. COVID year, 59 and 54. Let's see. Hold on, 66 and 61 overall, 3 and 2 in bowl games, conference. 2020, 59 and 54, 4 and 1 in bowl games. 2021, 65 and 61 overall, 3 and 1 in bowl games. So that makes the overall record of 30, 320 wins, 319 losses, exactly 50.1%. Bowl record is 17 and 7, 70.8% with four winning seasons. So who's the best? Well, first off, the bottom two are easy. So we're going to do the ranking. Number five, the MAC. They had the lowest winning percentage overall and the lowest in bowl games. That was easy. The fourth one, Conference USA. They had the second to worst winning percentage in bowl games. Now it gets a little complicated. I, I decided when I'm doing this, if you're the best in the rankings for one through five, you get one point. If you're the worst, you get five points. So we have... Whoever had the most, the fewest points got number one, number two, three. The worst got number five. Well, five and four were easy. Three schools had four points. Between, because the fact is, the two worst teams only had one winning season. The top three teams each had four. So that's a tie. And all the other teams had four. Some teams had first place wins, some had seconds. So it doesn't do anything. But now... What do you do? Well, I had looked at this and go like, okay, who has winning percentages in both? Well, that means that third best conference is the American because they had a losing percentage in their bowl games. They appeared in more bowl games than anybody else, but you lost more than any, lost any more except for Conference USA who appeared in 37 bowl games. <clears throat> conference USA is talked bad upon, but they appeared in more bowl games than anybody else. Think about that for a minute. Well, they had not many teams, but they had more teams go to bowl games over the last five years than any other conference. So that's something to consider. But anyway, I gave the American that spot because they didn't have a winning percentage that's better in both categories. They weren't above 50%. So that means the American's the third best group of five. Second top two. Well, let's see here. The Mountain West has got the better winning percentage. Sunbelt's got the better bowl percentage by far the best 70 percent but the tie break as i said conference usa had the most bowl appearances so we had the most bowl appearances 
Sunbelt had 24. Mount West had 27. That's the only reason I did the tie break on this, was who had the most bowl appearances. And the fact is, <coughs> the one who hurt on bowls the most, cancellations occurred because of bowl games for COVID. The Mountain West bumped other teams out, but the teams they bumped out were the MAC and Conference USA schools. Sunbelt schools didn't have that many teams that had winning records. A lot of the schools on there for the years, you look at them, a lot of five wins. Five win teams, five and seven, five and seven, four and eight. They kept their winning percentage above 500, and they got rid of the dead weight. They were all in the same range. But there was no outstanding teams. So who's the final ranking? Fifth best group of five is the MAC. Fourth best is Conference USA. Third is the American. Two is the Sun Belt. Number one, the Mountain West. When I did this, I thought it was going to be American Mountain West Sun Belt. I didn't realize the American, once I did the numbers, was the third best. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. You think, oh man, you're crazy. Well, the Mid-American was, pl American was playing more Power 5 teams. Everybody was playing Power 5 teams to get body bag games. The fact that one was playing the most was, Ac was the MAC. They had more body bag games than anybody else. They lost all of them too. Because Akron had to pay a lot of money. They're the worst out of all the schools here. Akron's got the worst record over the last five years. It's not even close. But tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Do you think down there? Who do you think is the best group of five conference? I gave you the numbers. The actual numbers. You can look this up. The actual numbers. Who's the best group of five conference? So you tell me. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps in the analytics. It helps me get, please, I'm asking this now because of a little research I got in my analytics. I need more thumbs up so that way my videos get seen more. Right now we're averaging 60, 90 views, 100 views. Unless I do something big about something breaking I get about it, college football realignment, I don't get that many views. I'd like to get the thumbs up because it helps in the analytics. It helps the video stay in circulation. helps the video get more. So please, I'm asking, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Any comments you wish to make? Who's the best group of five in your opinion? Tell me down there. Who's the group of five in the comment down below? And if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I try to do one of these every single day. Try to do some great college football content, and I will do something crazy every now and then. I might probably do a breaking video about when Scott Frost gets fired. Um, which the way I'm thinking is probably going to be the week before their bye week. So that way the new coach has got two weeks to prepare. That would make the most sense if they fire him. But Trev Alberts the new G, is the GM, is the athletic director GM. The athletic director there, and he's kind of running it. So he might make the decision. But then again, there may be some higher ups to make that decision for him. Anyway, thanks, everybody, for watching the video. As always, everyone, please like, comment, and subscribe, and please be good to each other.